<sighs> it's official. I'm a human and I'm not perfect. <gasps> Pretty sure we all knew that already though. Typically, I would never put a day like this online. I shouldn't say never. It's not fun to be vulnerable and open up about things that you struggle with online because we're talking hundreds of thousands of people that can just weigh in and frankly the internet tends to use it to make people feel less than. Being vulnerable online can definitely become a weapon. I know days like these are really hard for me. In the past, I handled the situation in a very negative way. I'm making this video because maybe if I had a video like this to watch, I would understand that it's normal to feel this way. I just think I would feel less alone. With all that being said, yesterday was the first time in 23 days that I binged. Which in reality should be something that I look on and say, that's progress because before starting my fast food journey and before the new year, I was binging every single day, if not sometimes twice. My health was in a very steep decline. I don't know what switch got going in 2023, but I'm just so determined to live a different life this year and to really try and change. When I saw Sierra do her no fast food challenge, I said, this might be exactly what I need. I can't even begin to explain what this challenge has done for me. Just because I'm not eating fast food doesn't mean that my eating disorder goes away. And the past couple days I've just genuinely been like overwhelmed in both happy and sad ways like I'm so grateful that I've been doing so well with my mental health but at the end of the day I suffer from depression anxiety ADHD there's more that I'm in the process of working through diagnoses of that maybe one day I will share but just because I have a good couple of weeks doesn't mean that those problems are just gone 2022 was just full of depression episodes <laughs> usually the day after I binge I'll either overeat again just because I already ruined it so why not keep binging or I punish myself by not letting myself eat. I don't think that either of those are the healthy, correct response. I laid in bed until 12 today because I felt so shit about myself. I very much so have been focusing on the fact that I messed up and I was doing so good instead of thinking about the fact that I went from binging every single day to doing it once in 23 days. And it was just on food in my pantry. I think what I'm taking away from me binging last night is I need to dedicate more time to myself. I've been so excited about everything happening on my TikTok and on YouTube and just the love that I have felt from you guys that I think I failed to take human moments. Nothing good is going to come out of today if I make it another bad day. I binged. It happened. The way I react now is what's going to determine if I go down the same path I've gone down a million times before with this eating disorder or I can take a step in a direction that I genuinely have never really taken before which is healing. The path of healing is always harder than the path of destruction. It sucks but that's the truth. I don't know. I'm just really over it. I've been preaching to you guys about being 1% better every day and for me to choose to throw away everything that I've worked for this month month because I binged a singular time would be, that would be me going against everything that I've been telling you guys. I don't want to be someone that comes on the internet and doesn't practice what they preach anymore. So as scary as it is to vlog your hardest days, I think those are the videos that are going to have the most benefit. I don't want to be putting out stuff on the internet that is pointless. Every once in a while, I'm gonna make y'all laugh. <laughs> but I think there's a deeper meaning to the reason I was given a platform. And if it means putting myself out there in my most vulnerable states, Sign me up, I guess. When I came downstairs this morning, my kitchen was a mess. A lot needs to be cleaned. I think that's a part of what built me up to my moment yesterday. I need to prioritize certain things better and just get on a better schedule. So today we're gonna clean everything. I'm gonna try not to sit down because I've learned once I sit down, I pretty much don't get back up. I'm gonna be very gentle with myself today and be very intentional today about the things that I'm doing. We're gonna make some fun food. I'm gonna get my clothes put away. I'm gonna take a nice shower. It's gonna be great even though inside my brain I'm so angry with myself if I feed into those negative thoughts I'm only gonna end up in the same place that I've always been you know what they say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different outcome I'm gonna try and do something different today in hopes that it leads me down the path of a different outcome if you're someone that struggles with your relationship with food or any type of ED even though a lot of EDs are different I do feel like we all share the same kind of thoughts and struggles you're not alone I love you bitch even though it can feel incredibly isolating and lonely. I'm gonna make breakfast and I'm gonna try and come up with some fun thing to make for dinner. I'm still gonna take care of myself today because I don't deserve to be punished for one bad moment. I already cleaned my kitchen. You'd be so proud. She's looking quite good. The rug is still sitting there from when you guys watched me switch it out. We gotta change that. If you look around, there's just things that need to be cleaned. If you only knew the amount of clothes that were upstairs waiting for me to put them away. I definitely have a days full of activities and tasks. I'm in a mental battle at the moment. The difference is I'm actually gonna try and win it this time. 
I guess I should make breakfast. One hour later. As soon as I turned off the camera, I just got sad. I'm gonna make a coffee because making coffee makes me happy. I turned off the camera and I got really sad because I feel like I'm trying so hard. And I should feel so good. And I have been feeling so good. I know today is just gonna be hard because I'm mad at myself. I just wish I was normal sometimes and didn't have these struggles. <laughs> but maybe if I was normal, I wouldn't be able to make videos like this and to help you guys and make you feel less alone. Oh my gosh. Coffee brings love to the soul. I never leave beans in here because I think that they're gonna go stale. It always makes a mess. Let's just swipe them off. I've been going to coffee shops every single day, so I haven't made my own coffee in a while. It's always so therapeutic, but I've been cutting back on caffeine, so I refuse to have two cups of coffee a day. Does decaf espresso exist? Let me know. Then I could make a coffee at home and then go to the coffee shop. Or I could make my caffeinated latte at home and just get like decaf coffee at the coffee shop. Here she goes. Yeah! A spring-loaded tamper was the best thing ever. I wiped off my puck screen with a towel. How are you supposed to clean this puck screen? Because mine gets full of fuzzies. Do I have enough water? Oh, why is it green? Oh, absolutely not. <gasps> Wait. I don't think you're understanding. Um, I think I have to go on Amazon and order a new filter. I have had this for so long and that's never happened. You know, I'm so glad I looked at that. You guys do realize I would have just made my coffee with that water? Wait a damn minute. I was supposed to change that in September. Maybe that's why. Can you guys remind me in April to change this again? I'm gonna clean my machine and I'll be right back. Ran her through a little clean cycle. That's why we always look before we make coffee. You're never gonna believe it. I was able to make a coffee. This isn't very good though. At least I stuck to it and fixed it. I almost gave up for a moment. That's the whole premise of this video, I guess. Don't give up. Anyways, okay, I need to eat something. I beg to differ. Even though it's far past breakfast time, I'm still gonna make breakfast. I've been loving avocado toast. Not even just forcing myself to eat avocado toast. I've been loving it, loving it. I haven't hated avocado toast, but I haven't enjoyed it. I feel like I've truly perfected my avocado spread. It's probably nothing groundbreaking or revolutionary, but it actually tastes good. I struggle with the texture of avocados, and for some reason when I make it this way, the texture just doesn't bother me. Look how tiny she is. Peel the avocado, peel the avocado. Moment of truth. Look at how good this avocado looks. Scooping out avocados is so satisfying. Also, I've learned the hard way, if you don't rinse avocado off of things almost immediately, it never comes off. If you don't like the texture of avocado, you have to mash until you don't think you can mash anymore. Do the avocado smash. Let's do the mash. This might be a little overkill. Avocado has a very, it has a very peculiar taste. Black pepper, garlic powder, everything but the bagel, and salt. A limon. I've been putting lemon juice in it. I mean, I'm not the first person to put lemon juice in this, I'm sure. You're gonna have to trust me that it does something that just changes it. Okay, we're gonna set her aside and we're gonna make our egg. Mm. Okay, well, that's not the best view for you. But can you just picture you can see me making my egg? I've actually had a bunch of you guys tell me that cooking oil isn't good. What else would I use? Like butter? Isn't butter worse when you're trying to get healthier? Help me out here, I literally don't know. Do you see this? This is a fresh carton of eggs. I haven't ate a full carton of eggs in like over a year and a half. One, my parosmia made eggs not taste good. And two, I just never cooked at home. So unfortunately the eggs would always go to waste. Like most of the food that I'd buy from the grocery store. And that is not who I am anymore. Uh. So I just got a fresh carton of eggs today. This is my second carton of eggs in like a week. Sam lives here too and I've been cooking us breakfasts, but still, that's a lot of eggs. Get my protein. TikTok told me that if I crack the egg in the pan, put a little bit of water, and then put the cover on, I don't have to flip the eggs. I like my eggs with my whites cooked and my middles runny. And so apparently you can do that this way, so. Oh, oh still not a master chef yet. I might be over seasoning my food. In my mind, it makes me feel like it's more from like a restaurant if it's seasoned well. Do I let it cook a little and then put the cover on? I'm just waiting, waiting, waiting on my egg to bake. Try to do it now. It's said to put a little water in the pan. 
So let me show you how I make it. A few moments later. Oh shit. Do you see this? That's a cooked egg. Toast. Oh, I didn't put the shabaka do. Oh my God. I'm just unwell. Want to know what I actually should put on here? Because I haven't yet. I only have one left. Chicken, sausage. Ooh. Okay, I know you're not supposed to use metal, but this is what I have right now. Wait. Y'all are literal geniuses. I need to trust you more. I've never made it in sandwich form before. Weenie. Oh, the yolk is cooked, you guys. Oh, absolutely not. I must have left it in there too long. What did I just make? This went from like the best avocado toast to the most makeshift avocado toast you've ever seen. It's like an avocado toast sandwich. I want to be eaten. A little Cholula never hurt nobody. Some good shit. I have to keep being productive. I just have to keep moving. No sitting. The reason I'm gonna clean today is because I do think my house just not being in order is one of the things that's stressing me out. Like me not having time to do it when in reality I can make the time to do it. In my mind, me cleaning my house right now is helping prevent this from happening again. It does not need to be perfect. I'm gonna vacuum. Ever since I got my new vacuum, it's become very satisfying. That probably is showing my age. Like I'm beginning to enjoy vacuuming. I have so much laundry to put away actually. All of these clothes are clean. Before I do that, I need to put a load of towels in. So many kitchen towels. This whole basket is just full of towels. That's literally it. Sensitive skin humans. This is really good. I'm actually almost out of this. I can probably do like six more loads. This is not a good idea because I have sensitive skin, but some of the stuff in here is really dirty. So I'm adding OxyClean. I have two more loads to do. One that's just bras and undies and a random basket. I've been meaning to do these for so long and I never do it. Today's the day. Oh my God, I got laundry done. All of these are clothes that I have to put away. I need to get better about accepting help. Before Vlogmas, so before December, I was uber depressed. Career-wise, I didn't know what I wanted to do because I just didn't have a passion for creating content anymore. I think you guys could tell that also. I was also just going through a lot in life and it was just a rough couple months. And one of the things that gets hard with my depression is like keeping things clean. Do you get where I'm going with this? Doing laundry. I had so much laundry to do. It just became so overwhelming to the point where I just didn't know what to do with it anymore. Uploading daily during Vlogmas, I didn't have the mental capacity to be working around the clock and also doing like 18 loads of laundry. So it has just added up to the point where now I'm kind of almost out of clothes. I'm uploading daily again on TikTok and shorts and still doing all of these YouTube videos on top of it. So I was like, you know what? What is wrong with me getting somebody to help me get caught up? Why is that such a bad thing in my mind? So out of curiosity, I looked up how much it costs for wash and fold services and it said it was $2.50 per load. Looking back on it, that definitely was like a too good to be true price. Regardless, I saw the price. I said, okay, yes, it'll just help me get caught up. If I just can get caught up, I won't be so overwhelmed and I can keep up with like the normal amount of laundry. I convinced myself to do it. I bagged up six large laundry bags full of clothes. They picked them up Wednesday morning. They messaged me when they were picked up. Once they like processed the order, they texted me that like it was being worked on. There was this link that you could click and I clicked on the link. It was at that moment I realized it wasn't 250 a load. It was 250 per pound. Now let me reiterate that I gave six large, double stuffed bags of clothes to these people. And at this point it was too late. They had already picked it up. I cried in the coffee shop. I knew that I just fucked up. I was so scared to figure out how much that that mistake was gonna cost me. Essentially I came up with that I probably gave them like 200 to 300 pounds of clothes. In the long run was an overestimate. For the rest of that day, I spiraled until I got an email that said your order has been completed. Here is your invoice. I was so terrified. I open it and can you guess what it says? 
according to the invoice, I had given them 12 pounds of clothes. After tip and taxes, that meant that this mistake was going to cost me $46. I knew in my heart of hearts that, that was not correct because like if it cost $46 to get all of my clothes washed, folded, and I didn't even have to leave my house, realistically six large bags of clothes is like three months of laundry, $40 every two to three months. Like that's too good to be true, sign me up. I'm never doing my own laundry again. I was already mad at myself that I even needed to do this in the first place. Like it's okay to accept help sometimes if it's gonna make you feel better. I'm very fortunate thanks to every single one of you guys watching this video. I'm able to help myself out in moments like that. I was vlogging when the guy came to drop off the laundry and I had to say something. It turns out he mixed up the orders. My order and a different girl's order got mixed up. She paid for my order and I paid for hers, which also means that my order was washed in baby detergent and hers probably wasn't, which is unfortunate because she needed the baby detergent. He looked so scared, like he was gonna get in so much trouble for mixing up these orders and I knew I needed to pay more. Like my conscience wouldn't let me not say anything, even though it would have been nice to only pay $40 for all this laundry. I knew that wasn't right, especially because I put like a 25% tip on it that means whoever did this laundry only got eight dollars and you did so much laundry you deserve more than eight dollars to wrap up this very long story the manager called me yesterday and explained that i only got charged for 12 pounds of laundry when I had, I had over a hundred pounds of laundry. The whole laundry situation ended up costing me $220 because I didn't read the website thoroughly enough to know that it wasn't 250 per load. You stupid. So mistake made, but it is done now. So all I have to do is put it away. And then that stress is gonna be off my chest and off my life. And that feels very good. It feels good knowing that they're clean. It's been two hours. I think by the way I look, you can tell that I've just been putting clothes away for two hours. Honestly, she's not that organized, but it's all put away and I finally have clothes to wear. Unfortunately, there is more mess to clean up in my room. Also, I'm so hungry and I'm making stuffed peppers. I have an Amazon package. I pretty much live in my kitchen now. I realized there's some kitchen stuff that I would love to have that I didn't have. This sits across your sink and you can put like your fruits or your vegetables to wash in here. Set them in here and rinse away. I actually love that. She's just as pretty in person as she was on the listing. Fun. This is a silicone oven mitt. Since this is silicone, all I have to do is rinse it off. Hair won't stick to it. KitchenAid, they were neutral. Good purchase. This is an alarm clock that zaps you to wake you up. I've been struggling to wake up in the mornings. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the vibe bands. Like, it's making me have a hard time falling asleep. But I used to go to bed at two o'clock all the time. I would still wake up at seven. And now I can't get myself out of bed before like 9.30. I don't really start editing until like 12, which is just not ideal. Granted, I'm doing like double or if not triple the work that I used to do. I might just be more tired. But you guys just wanna see the kitchen stuff. This was missing. I don't know how I haven't got a chef's hat yet. Ooh, <laughs> this was unnecessary. They're dryer sheets that are supposed to be like luxury. I have special detergent for my sheets. So I figured I should also have a special dryer sheet. This machine is supposed to turn any fruit into soft serve ice cream. I needed more fun things. The final package. I did order this at like two in the morning. Can you tell what it is? It's a cotton candy machine. I'm guessing this is the sugar that you use. Blue raspberry, vanilla, orange, cherry, and grape. That was my Amazon haul. Now I'm gonna make dinner. I kind of forgot, but I started cooking dinner. I have my rice in there, and right here I am grounding up some beefs. I'm gonna put the rice in with the beef. I'm also gonna put a can of tomato paste, and I'm gonna cut this tomato up into little cubies. At the start of this, I had a recipe, and then I kind of just decided it would be more fun if I didn't use it. This should be interesting. So, my rice and my beef are cooked. I need to cut up this tomato. What if I just continually cut them in half? Will that end up diced? I debated getting the can. I just thought this would be fresher, but now I'm really wishing I got the can. Yeah. Have I mentioned I hate tomatoes? Is that enough? I'm just gonna put them in. It's my recipe, remember? Putting the rice in here. Thick. You know, maybe I really should have stuck to that recipe. I feel like it just needs a little water. I'm 
pretty sure I can put this in a pepper. The peppers have been stuffed. Time for the final part. Chiss. Parmesan's my favorite, so that's what we're using. Now all we have to do is put it in the oven. I finally don't stink anymore. We have some news. You tell them. Megan Trainer followed Samantha. <laughs> Are you actually fucking kidding? I could have a Louis Vuitton. I was eating my pepper scrolling through TikTok because who doesn't look at TikTok when they eat? Okay, I have to be better at that. I saw Megan Trainer's video of her announcing something to her friends and family and everyone was so excited and she said, all oh, you guys know about it soon. I said, no, I have to know about it right now. So I went to her page and she follows me. Remember like how this whole video I was telling you guys I just haven't been in a good mood the past few days? I'm better now. I've been healed. Later. I don't know that we gave that the full moment it deserved, but what else am I supposed to say about it? I caved and got the arm cuffs that everybody talks about on TikTok. It keeps the water from running down your arms. Despite everything that happened yesterday, today ended up being a good day, actually. Aww. I pretty much just cleaned for most of the day, and genuinely that was what I needed to do because I was feeling so guilty just working all the time and not like keeping up with my house. Also, my skincare has changed. You guys brought to my attention that I was using a face wash for people with oily skin. I have severely dry skin. I switched to this one from Youth to the People. The kale and green, oh, it's my mouth. It fucking tastes bad. The kale, green tea, spinach, and vitamins one. Sometimes wiping it off the towel just works better. My goal for today was just to have a better day than I typically do after I binge. I feel like a natural response is to just be mad at yourself. I still felt mad and upset, but I just, I spent today fighting the urge to just give in to my negative habits, my negative tendencies surrounding my ED. I think we did a good job. I got all of the cleaning done that I had to get done. Now I've set myself up to not have to stress about it all week. Like my clothes are put away. That's such a big stress lifted off my shoulders. I'm proud of myself today. If you're wondering, these are the best things since sliced bread. I think I've told you guys that before. The Dr. Dennis Graf little peel pads completely have changed the texture of my skin. Well, that and not eating fast food. It is a little bit later than I wanted to be going to bed. The whole Megan Trainer thing really just got my adrenaline pumping. Good thing I have my shock bracelet to wake my butt up in the morning. Look how long my hair is getting. Like, this is just my hair. All because I stopped bleaching it and started taking care of it. I mean, I know it's not that long, but it's progress. I've been using the Sunday Riley CEO Vitamin C Serum. Next, I'm using the Tatcha Indigo Overnight Repair. Oh, it's a serum in cream. I use this at night. I like it extra juicy at night. I also just have the world's driest skin. Last but not least, the Clinique Eye Cream. Even though I don't want to spend time on myself today, or I didn't want to spend time on myself today, it's important that you do, because you still deserve it, even when you're not perfect. Because guess what? You're never gonna be perfect. Newsflash. I've been using this eyebrow serum from Go Lab Beauty. Social media has influenced me to buy shit. I'm using the Tatcha lip mask. I just started using this Babe Lash eyelash serum. I've used Grande Lash before, and I truly believe I'm allergic to it. Everyone swears it works. I'll update you in a few weeks. Can remove these. And then the only other thing I need to do, let's open this. Comes with a charger. What should I set the strength of my zaps at? I'm gonna go 80% strength. Oh, you are fucked. It's gonna make me do jumping jacks. In five hours and 45 minutes, it is going to zap me three times and it's not gonna stop until I do jumping jacks. Are we ready? Cause I'm ready, but you better be excited. I would like to say thank you for hanging out with me. And even though I haven't posted this yet, I know so many of you guys are going to be so sweet and so supportive. So thank you for that. I accomplished everything that I set my mind to today. Sharing stuff like this can be very scary on the internet, but yet you guys have made this such a safe place. I just, I really hope that I can continue to get better. Having you guys to talk to today has helped a lot. I could speak forever on this topic and it will probably be something that I talk about a lot 
on my podcast. I just really hope you know that it's okay to not be perfect. You're worth more than your weight. You're worth more than what other people think of you. You're worth more than the types of food that you eat. You're worth more than the clothing that you wear. If you have goals and you messed up today, like that's okay, you're a human being. You cannot expect to be perfect all the time. Whatever happened has happened. How you react is now what is going to determine if you stay in the same cycle that you've always been in or if you break out of it and start to actually heal and move in a different direction. That's something that we're in control of. That doesn't make it easy, but sometimes when I binge, I genuinely feel like I'm not in control of it or I just don't realize I'm having a lot of stress and anxiety and then that's just how it manifests itself. I also realized that I had chips in my house, which there is nothing wrong with a bag of chips, but I have learned that for me, chips is a trigger food. So I need to not buy chips because they trigger me to binge. It has nothing to do with the health value. I just don't know why chips are such a trigger food for me. I just want you guys to know that you are not alone and you do have the power to decide if you get 1% better. Instead of viewing me binging as me getting 1% worse, I tried to look at it in the way that this is an opportunity for me to get 1% better in how I handle this situation because there might come a day where I binge again and now I know that because I mess up once that doesn't mean that I'm all the way off track and I might as well just not even try at all. You can have a bad day and that doesn't take away all of your progress and like I said you can apply that to anything in life. I am gonna shut up now because I've been talking a lot today. Thank you for spending today with me. I love you and I will see you guys very soon. There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth